Hello Google Workspace admins and welcome to this new video. In this video I'm going to be showing you what are the options that you can have in order to restore a user's deleted data. If a user delete an email from his Gmail mailbox or if a user deletes a file from his Google Drive and you want to recover this file then I will show you how you can do this. The points that I'm going to be talking about here are a few limitations and considerations that you need to be aware about before doing this process. Then I'll be showing you two important links and references for your information. And after that, I will be showing you the actual process in order to restore the data. So first of all, the important point and aspect is that you have to recover this data within 25 days of the deletion not from the actual creation of that record or item so for example if a user received an email one year ago but then he deletes this email yesterday then you have 25 days to recover this email from yesterday and you don't really control how the files are stored or restored into the uh, uh, user account or storage you will just need to select the range where you want or where the deletion happened and you, then you'll have to select the item type which is either an email or google drive file and then you'll click start or agree to the options that you've set and that's it the files will be restored the, the restore will, init, will be initiated immediately into the user's mailbox into the original location of these files and emails but then the duration this will take depend really on the amount and the size of the data that you're restoring uh, in one of the cases, in, in, in one of the customers, actually, they have been using G Suite Basic at the time. Now it's the Google Workspace Business Starter Edition that comes with the 30 GB storage. And they, because they didn't have this large storage, the unlimited storage or the pooled storage, and these are a logistics organization, so they do deliveries and all of this. So because of this industry that they are their emails are actually they have a lot of email traffic they have heavy email traffic even so their mailboxes fill quickly and in all of the cases one of the mailboxes did fill up very quickly and just to keep their operation going they actually deleted all of the emails in that mailbox all of that 30 gb was pure emails and they have deleted it and then when they wanted to get back this old data again, they approached us and told us we want to recover this data. And then we initiated the restore. And now we did the, you know, we made sure that there is a sufficient space by adding an upgrade license to the storage and all of that. So these uh, prerequisite points are already done. So they had the additional storage to again restore the deleted uh, items and data. So we initiated the restore and that restore started immediately but it took about 24 hours to be completed because of the amount of the data that had to be restored and i'm not sure if it if it will take more because it's it's at all depending on the data size and all of this now i'll be showing you two links but just before going into the links and into how to do the restore just a little tip also for you as an administrator this will be your first option actually before seeking any other ways or options to do the restore you can do it from google vault if you have google vault if you have google workspace business probably uh, plus or up but then if you're having google workspace business standard or starter you will not be able to use google vault so this is your only option actually for that and honestly i don't really recommend using google vault if you have other options because google vault is heavily audited and it's something that will expose all of the organization data and all of this so it's it's uh, something that you should reconsider before using this as a last resort so there are two links that i want to show you here the first one is called restore a user's permanently deleted email this is the uh, article from google workspace admin help this contains the prerequisites and contains some useful information and uh, some tips about using google vault again although me personally i don't like to use google vault while i have other options and also then the steps for you to do that which is uh, something that i'll be showing you now and this is very important 
section about the data that you can restore and the data that you cannot restore because you need to be aware of what can be restored and what cannot be restored. Also, if you're looking to uh, script this or do some sort of development, you can do it with the email audit API. Now, the important point that I want to highlight here, this might do some confusion for you or might cause some confusion for you. So they are saying that when a user deletes a Gmail message, it stays in their trash for 30 days. These are the options for retrieving and restoring the deleted messages. So for up to 30 days, the users can recover their own messages from the trash. But then after the 30 days, the admins will have to do the recovery. So you can consider this as a two phase thing. First phase is the user deletes the email and the email will go to the trash for 30 days. And that and in this period, there is no admin intervention required or anything. It's totally doable by the user and the user will be able to recover the data that he wants by directly going to his trash in Gmail and then uh, restore that email. But then if instead of sending that to the trash or if the user goes to the trash and then empties the trash, then from the moment that the trash is emptied or after the 30 days, that is here, then the 25 days counter will start and then the admin will come in and he has to do the restore by himself. Sorry for the typo there. So you can say that this is phase two or stage two of this whole thing. So once you are into this, then the admin has the ability only to restore that. Now as phase three, you know, putting Google Vault in this, once the 25 days pass, then the only option to do this is by using Google Vault. And this is only possible if you have configured the retention rules and the retention policies of your Google Vault to probably retain the data for more than 25 days or even permanently. And if you have an effective retention rule that is applying whether a default one or a custom one, and as long as you don't have a, a retention rule that is overriding the content retention period, then you will be able to recover from Google Vault after 30 days or after 25 days. So these are all of the options that are available for you. And depending on the case and how things probably going for you, you can use one of these cases. Also, again, I really don't recommend using Google Vault. The other link that I want to show you here is called Recover Deleted Files and Folders for Google Drive users. So again, there is the point about users deleting files into their trash. And once the trash is emptied by the users, then the 25 days counter will start and you have 25 days to recover the data. If more than 25 days pass, then you can use Google Vault to recover the data from Google Vault. So this is a very important read and article. I really encourage you to read it, at least the first sections and the last sections, the steps I'm going to show you now in the admin console. So just to make sure that you see what's going to happen in the whole process, I'm going to delete a few emails of this mailbox. And let me, for example, delete these emails that are called group.standalone. And I will delete them from this mailbox. Now what I have done is I have put the emails in the trash and I have 30 days to recover these emails from the trash. I can simply go to the uh, folders or the labels. I can go to the trash. Then I can click and then I can restore the emails. Probably it's just moving this into uh, mailbox. I don't know really what the option is. But anyways, so you can restore these back to the mailbox or to the inbox and you can probably delete them forever. So this is the option to recover to inbox. And then if, for example, 30 days passed or I click delete forever, now there is no way for me to recover those messages and I'm in trouble if I wanted them. <laughs> so the option to recover those is by going to the admin console, going to users, then finding the user that deleted the data, which is me in this case, this is the one. And actually you can do it by two ways. Again, you can do it from the outside by clicking restore data from the menu from here. 
or you can go inside the user and then finding the restore data option here which is at the bottom then as mentioned you will select the date range for the deletion which is today but let me say yesterday for example and until end of today so anything that has been deleted from yesterday until today will be recovered and the application that is gmail or i can choose drive if i have deleted files it is the same setting and experience if you want to recover files from google drive so i'm selecting gmail and i'm going to click restore and that's it now I have to wait a little bit until the restoration process is completed and everything is put back into my Gmail mailbox. Now if I go back to Gmail, as you can see, it, it, it happened actually almost immediately. So these are the two emails that I have lost and now they are back. So that's the process of restoring a user's deleted files and data. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to the channel and click that bell button so that you can be notified whenever i put any new content or video also please don't hesitate to put anything in the comment section and let me know about any point that you want to discuss related to this any feedback is also very much welcome and also please check out my website and check out my google workspace admin course on edme that is a very comprehensive and a complete course about all of the activities that you can do in google workspace you will be able to know the details about this activity restoring the user deleted data or any other activities and any other activities and tasks that you need to do as a google workspace administrator you can get it at a discounted price through the link that i will put in the video description so thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching i will see you in a new video